Yep, back out, second, second wild camp. We were on a site last night and the night before because the weather was horrible. So now we're wild camping again on the beach. As Chris Rea said, this is the road to nowhere. All right, so I meant that because um, I want to dry it off after last night's rain, it was soaking, so I brought it and dried off. We've got little picnic benches, I mean, we're not far away from the car. Little fire pit, big fire pit. So, because it's already there and it looks well looked after. I'm just here, or I'm just here. This is Una Beach Shelter, glorified beach shelter. Lovely. Tis like for camps like this, really. It is when you pitch it like that without the wind. Aye. And you've got, you've got, and sit here and stare at you. I'm on a, I'm on a park bench. Do my work. All right, and what you do your business. Okay. And mind me on beeswax. Yeah, well, we're going to pitch up there, but somebody beat us to it. Unbelievable. Un. Believable. So we'll go down to the beach later. Have we'll a look at the lovely sea. So here we are, all set up back there. Rob chilled out, eh? Loving it. Day, day five or something, this isn't it? Yeah. Like I say, we, we, we roughed it on a campsite last night and then the night before. It's just for the weather. Needed showers as well. So this is the Atlantic Ocean. Believe it or not, I can't get my head around that. I thought it was the Irish Sea. But I've been reliably informed that it's the Atlantic and the next stop is Iceland and Canada. So that's amazing. Quite rough. We came here, was it yesterday we came? Day before. That was yesterday. No, was it? Day before. Yeah. Right. Uh, and it yesterday. And it was the tide was right out. It was yesterday. And I will come to we'll come to scope out, like I said before, we were gonna camp up there. But somebody beat us to it. Couldn't believe it. We were up the top bit. We just walked onto the bit we wanted to camp at. Up to another bit to have a look at it. Then when we turned around and came back, there's a guy pushing a bike. I'm like, no, and he, he's pitched there, pinched our spot, not to worry. But yeah, we're going to have a fire later on because there's already a great big fire pit there and it looks it looks like a proper one with um, sand in it and everything, it's all built up. Looks like quite a responsible area. So, no worries about that then. It's nice to have a, a little fire going if it's if it's in a proper pit um, and you manage it properly. So we'll do that. Had some burgers on as well later on. Burgers for tea again. We dined out royally last night. Right, sit here for hours looking at this. This shelf is just stopping it. Tasty. <laughs> oh. Oh, 
Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's wild. Cemetery there. Another one over there. And they say that the, the people there's more cemeteries over this side of the island because on the other side, it's all rocky, so you can't dig into the ground. So, uh, man, that's a, that's a little, little fun fact. <laughs> we're just standing talking to a local guy up there, and uh, as we were talking, an otter ran across here. Great big thing. It was massive, wasn't it? Uh, it was. Otter. A little otter. So we're going to go back and look at the sea because it's fascinating. We're having burgers on the beach with a bit of bacon and some cheese. Brioche buns already. Can of beer. Just listening to the waves crashing on the beach. Oh, sun's going down over there. Not going to get a sunset here like I'm gonna get red, it's too cloudy. Just waiting, wait until the crowds disappear and then we'll get the fire on. Been a few people knocking about, it's not too bad. Everybody's chilled out. Met a nice local. I mentioned him. Oh, did you? Aye. Aye, he was good, wasn't he? Aye, nice man. I liked him. I wish he'd talk to her longer, but. Giving us some local information about the place. And... Aye, but them letting the cows wander around here. Aye, <laughs> timed it well. You Highland cows usually come down here. Come through the gate up there. This is Crofter's land. Do you know how they tolerate it? As long as you're not an idiot about it, he said. There's a stone, a stone um, pit there designed specially for your barbecues and what have you. And he says, as long as you just use that one pit, it will not be a problem. So that's a lesson that, like, if there's a pit there, use that one. Don't, don't make one over there. Don't make one up there, don't make one anywhere. Use the one that's there. It's not hard, man. Anyway, it's enough of that. This is a very chilled out place, isn't it? Certainly is. How's the bacon, Rob? How's the bacon, did you say? <laughs> yes, I did. There you go. Very nice. Bacon cheeseburger, boom. On the beach with burger sauce. American style burger sauce. A lot of you know. None of that English style burger sauce. So we're off. We're just waiting for otters. I think we're going to have a long wait <laughs> when we're making all this work. Oh, right, I'm going to get stuck in. See you on the other side. I've lost count of the days in my pocket and the money spent looking in. Head down in the way of the Sufi and the New York Trilogy. I've lost count of the days in my pocket and the Spend looking in So it's head down in the way of the Sufi and the New York Trilogy Oh, it's so cold isn't it? It is. The wind, man, the wind just won't stop. So we dug, we dug the fire pit out, we've got the sand on the corner, so in the morning we'll just pile it back over. And that'll just be level how it was, exactly the same. Got some logs up in, logs up burn alright. But it's chilly man, it's chilly. Did you know we're on the back of a cemetery? Did I mention this before? I think I did. And I hope all these poor departed people are in there now thinking yes. We've got another 
campfire down on the beach. Say the old days. Drink a toast. Celebrate the dead. Respect the dead. I think how they would have done it. So I don't think it's gonna be much more filming on this because well, I'm getting to the stage where I'm thinking about taking a break from farming. So I'll just leave you with this. Rob Stoke in the fire. Alright, it's the morning. That fire's out. All covered over and like it was like it was when we came. <clears throat> and the wind never let up. We just got absolutely hammered. <laughs> Went to bed. Slept alright though. I did. He, Rob didn't. He says he was at a bit of an angle on there, a bit of a slope, so didn't get the best night's kip. But I did. So uh, that's the first, that's the best night's sleep I've had since we came. Anyway, we're gonna pack up slow pack and there's no rush and we're gonna head um, south of the island and see if we can find another overnight stay location <coughs> not doing massive hikes on this can't be bothered with the big hikes come on holiday just to relax and that's what we've been doing there he is busy rab always busy so I was there, now I'm there, Rob was here, and that's it, that's how we're leaving it, this is all covered over again, and they encourage you to use this, this has been specifically built for that purpose, so they're not, they're alright with fires here, oh the wind, the wind is terrible, don't know how we got them tents away in that, so we're off on more travels. Who knows where the road will lead, as Dolly Parton once said. And everybody thinks it's just a great big pair of